it. Welcome to San Francisco's G News, where you get all of your gay in just one day. We bring you the top LGBT stories from the left coast and around the globe. With a unique perspective only our gay bubble can provide. Tube in every week and keep in the know on the latest trends, hot topics, and who's messing with your human rights now. So join us with your hosts, Celsa Goulet and Lisa Cohen. Get all your gay in just one day. From the city by the bay with San Francisco's G News. This week on G News, it's Easter! Yay! So that means, as you know, our Easter game show. Easter, gay games, and special guests. Yay! <laughs> All this gay coming your way. Right here on G News. Woo! Every year, as you know, we do an Easter game show. And this year, we are doing our version of Jeopardy called Gaperty! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get to the rules in just a sec, but first let's meet our esteemed guests. Joining us, the most photographed nun in the world, representing the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence and hostess of the Hunky Jesus Contest at Easter in the Park, Sister Roma. Hi, everybody! <laughs> and joining us for the first time from the house of Monroe is the sexy and oh, awesome Raven Mad. <laughs> And last but certainly not least, sex, drags, and rock and roll maven, hostess of the Easter in the Park, and all around badass bitch. Ow, mother mother Chucka. Chucka. Yay! <laughs> so lay some rules on me. Just like the real Jeopardy, you select a category and the amount, and once you hear us complete the clue, that's when you can ding a little ding ding. Let's hear a little ding ding. Ow! And give us your best answer. Okay. And unlike the real Jeopardy, all contestants will move on to double jeopardy and final jeopardy. Yes. And the player with the most points, and I am keeping points, so I'm open to drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yes. have some more. <laughs> <laughs> so let's pick straws and oh. see who's going to go first. Sister Roma. Hmm. I'll go right in the middle. Mother Chaka. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. I believe it is Sister Roma. Roma. Okay. Ah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> is it? The short stick is the winner in this. Oh, okay. oh I see. How <laughs> anti-gay of you. I'll keep this for later. <laughs> Me too. Well, let's get to it. We've got three categories for our version of Gaperty. Ow! Water to wine. He has risen. Eating of the body. Little Catholicism Ooh. there happening. Oh, is that what happened? So, Roma, you pick the short straw. Which right. means you go first. All right, I will take He Has Risen for 10, Alex. And we have a sample question from that. The yes. clue, Celso and I will play. <coughs> this popular blue pill is used to treat erectile dysfunction. What is Viagra? Yes. That would be. Okay, so that's, how it goes. that's how it goes. Okay. You said 10, correct? I did. When a man's belly sticks out further than his erect penis, he is this. <laughs> Sister Roma? Undateable. <laughs> <laughs> There's actually a term, but let's, let Mother chime in. What do you say? Santa Claus. Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What is a chunky monkey? <laughs> <laughs> wow, those are all really good. <laughs> uh, is it, what is fupa? No, it's, uh, what is a dicky do? Oh, oh really? Because yeah. your stomach sticks, sticks out, out more than your dicky do. There you go. That's a new one. This is educational. I, I, educational. Say that, I say that's 10 points across the board. I, I think so, too. Yeah. I'll go, I'll go with that. Cheers. So um, I guess, Roma, you still hold Cheers. the board then. Cheers. We got 10 points. <laughs> so next question Cheers category. That. I will take eating of the body for 10. Ooh, okay. And we, we do not have a sample question because we figured you could figure I it out. I think it's going to be kind of obvious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm anxious to see who knows this one. This figure-friendly food is used in a popular analogy to describe rimming or eating of the butts. Oh! What is tossing the salad? Ah! That's correct. <laughs> well done. That was for Heglina. <laughs> Well, you're so ruling the board there, Roma. Next. Wow. We're going to kick you off the throne in a second. I would like to go back to He Has Risen for 20, please. Lisa, do you want to do that one? He has no, it's by you. You okay. go for it, baby. All right. Ooh. I'm going to challenge you in this one. 
If you, if you know the answer to this one, I'll be very impressed. A fluffer on a French porn set is this. <laughs> Bacon. Yeah. What is one lucky bitch? <laughs> what is a fluffer? Wow. <laughs> that was at least somewhat French. Voulez-vous coucher avec moi? There's actually a real term for it, and just like fluffer is a real term, and they made a movie about it in the 80s. It's called a de amieux. A de amieux. Oh. I apologize Spell for it. my French. D E R A M U E R. Okay. What, what is the literal translation? One lucky fluffer. bit. Fluffer. It literally like, translates like to someone who is on a porn set that keeps. Yes. Things going. Up. But, but yeah. to keep it moving, even though Sister Roma did win the last three, Mother Chuckle, will you select, please? Can we have water to wine for 10, please? Absolutely. We have a sample for that. Yes, we do. This popular gay cocktail involves vodka, cranberry juice, triple sec, and lime. Ooh, oh, what is a Cosmo? <laughs> yes, ah. so obviously we're talking about liquor. Okay. okay. Okay, water to wine. When in Spain, what is that popping sound you hear at brunch? What is Prosecco? No, what is Cava? Right? <laughs> <laughs> what is Grandpa coming? <laughs> Gross. Raven, would you like to give another answer? <laughs> <laughs> Keep going until you get it right. It's the painkiller. Sangria! <laughs> it, no. The answer is what is Cava? Yes. Technically, yes. I got there in a minute. <laughs> Ooh, Raven oh doesn't get there first. It takes a little while. Lisa, who would you like to give that to? I'm, I'm giving it to Raven and having her select. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, it took me a second, but I got there. If it's booze, I generally know eventually. It just takes me a minute. Uh, I'll go back to water to wine for 20, please. You got it. I guess I have a fair shot at this one. I don't know about <laughs> tossing salads and things like that. Oh, hey, that applies. That's. No. No. Okay. no. <laughs> Not my specialty. Water to wine for 20 for all of you. On the show Ab Fab, when Patsy is not drinking champagne, she is drinking this. What is Stoli? Woo! Yes. This is Whoa. also a daily double. Yes. Woo! How does Patsy invite you to join her in a drink? Oh, God. Um... Oh, I know this too. <laughs> you two can chime uh, in. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't know. Uh, well, Fake it, honey. Fake it. Time is up. She pours it in your mouth. <laughs> just like I would. She pours it in your mouth. I like that. I like it too. I'll she give did. that to mother. She just got yeah. 10 for that. What, but the answer oh, is, is. Bully Stoli. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. She always has a bottle of stolen in her hand, and she's like, just like Jeopardy. Bully these questions stolen. are hard. They are. <laughs> are they hard? Were my Easter ones Gabriel easier last year? Jeopardy has hard <laughs> questions. <laughs> Mother, that's yours. Can we go for He Has Risen for thirty? Yes. Absolutely. Okay. The average size of a man's penis is this erect and this flaccid. Three inches flaccid, six inches erect. Woo! Damn. Damn. <laughs> Or 2.5 and 5.5. I round it up. What is that is harsh, mother? <laughs> <laughs> How about what is 4.5 and 6.5? Mm, maybe if they're in porn. <laughs> well, I do work do well, I was just about to say. Search. She's a little skewed on her numbers <laughs> there. Uh, what is... Two and four and a half. Wow, you have a very low. <laughs> I, we're gonna give it to mother. Yeah. Even though <laughs> technically, it is five point one erect, but you were near close on the flaccid three point five. Oh, on flaccid. So looked. mother chucka. <laughs> See my well, Kinsey well. reading paid off. <laughs> So you own the board, but would you like to go next? Can we go with eating of the body for 20? Yes. Go for it, baby. Okay. When you say it like that. <laughs> now, little, uh, little clue, this has been featured on our show before. Kind of like yes. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. You're a faithful watcher of the show. When you really love your bread, you have this sexual fetish. Ooh. <laughs> Bredophilia. <laughs> 
Yeah. What is Oprah Winfrey syndrome? <laughs> <laughs> she eats bread every day. Oprah and I have this in common. Well, the love of bread. I don't know about this much love of bread, but. I go with beignet. <laughs> <laughs> Yeastiality. No oh. way. It's a real sexual fetish. Really? <laughs> yes. I, I gotta give the Do they do it to the bread before it's We're cooked gonna... or after? <laughs> oh, uh, variations like of the fetish. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's after, once it's already bread. There are some pretty sexy baguettes out there. Right? Oh, right? There really are. So we gave it to the Oprah yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you did. So, Roma? I will take water to wine for 30, please, Alex. <laughs> you got it, darling. It's Alexis, thank you. Oh, my. Which of these five cocktails was not invented in the San Francisco Bay Area? Cable car, Mai Tai, Pisco Punch, Pisco Punch, Sidecar, Martini. Mai Tai. What is Mai Tai? Oh. No. <laughs> I'm going to go with Sidecar. I would say, what is Martini? Sidecar. Sidecar. Oh. Oh. Martini was invented here. Is the yes. sidecar invented yeah. in New Orleans? It was Los Angeles. Oh, all right. That's wow. right. You looked all. He looked all. <laughs> I was just like, really? Can we try them all? <laughs> yes. And the for the that. last, we should just pick it and have them answer. Like, open, open for all. Open yes, season. open yes. for all. Okay. This is in the category of eating of the body. The custom of eating sushi off a naked, sexy body is this. Sushi <laughs> lingus. <laughs> Sushi Lingus. <laughs> What's it worth? I gotta write that just down. Give it to I'm her. just giving it, it to her. <laughs> <laughs> I love that better than well, Sushi Lingus. Uh, Sister Roma, what do you what Well, you well that's not sushiality, is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's cute, too. I just said it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> I think that counts as well. No, it's a, it's, obvi it's a Japanese actual thing that's been around for a very long time. It's called Nayo Tai Mori. Oh. And it's since the samurai. AKA Pescatarian. Yes. <laughs> Can we make a note for the next show to have Google Translate for, <laughs> for, for me? Yeah, for Figure your French and your Japanese. Well, hey, at least I found it. <laughs> what are our points? Well, Sister Roma. Yeah, well, let me. Raven is Amazing. coming in with 40 points. Sister Roma, 60. And Mother Chaka. 110. Wow. 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 My parents always wanted me to win Jeopardy. <laughs> <laughs> they just didn't expect you to win Gaperty. So one of our special prizes is this beauty right here. In San Francisco, uh, there is a person named Joe Mack. And every year, for like 20-some 20 20 years, years yeah. he has made Easter bonnets, and he sells them to everybody for Easter in the park. We wanted a bonnet to be one of the prizes. This one's even more special because now Joe Mack is retiring from the bonnets business. No. Oh. It's the last year he's gonna be doing bonnets, so this is now a coveted That's item. a treasure. Yes. Wow. Step up, San Francisco, we need a new <laughs> bonnet maker. Yeah. New bonnet maker. But until then, <laughs> So one of these Beautiful. fabulous people will win this fabulous prize. Now it's the time for what would be double jeopardy and final jeopardy, but it's gaperty. So instead of double Jeopardy, we have double rainbow. Yes. <laughs> and nice. instead of final Jeopardy, it's final snap. Oh. Right? OK. Double Jeopardy has two questions. Each one's worth 60 points. Final Jeopardy is 100 points. Ooh. Or Ooh. I'd be able to name myself. Maybe. Yes. <laughs> final snap. <laughs> so and this is because all we're opening this to everyone, because normally it would be like points and who won. We're, it's open to everybody. So first bell wins, or gets the first guess, right? Come on, guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the first I questions for Double awesome. Rainbow are, if you can think back to the days of hanky codes. Oh. Back in the past. Are we ready, my loves? Ready. A lavender hanky in the back left pocket of the Easter Bunny means this. You're a drag queen top. Yes. Oh! Oh my whoa. gosh! <laughs> wow! Yes. Good one. We're trying to slam it to get other people <laughs> winning here, but you're like, oh my stars! <laughs> it's somebody that. Yeah. I'm sorry, I know that one. <laughs> so wait, the Easter Bunny is a drag queen top. Yes. 
Well, if he's if he's, if he's into, wearing that hanky, yeah. He's into drag queens who are tops. Or no, he's he into, drag, top he just drag into drag queens. He wants to top a drag queen. The, bu- the Easter Bunny. Because the into left drag is the queens. dominant, you know. So. Ooh, now you know why we're so associated with Easter. <laughs> <laughs> and question two in this category: a light blue hanky with a white stripe in the Easter Bunny's right pocket means this. Make us laugh. <laughs> they like to bottom for young boys. Who does? <laughs> <laughs> Just a wild guess. Well, I, rem- I, know, I had a turquoise one because that was cocksuckers. Is it, is it something to do with cocksucking? Hopefully. I'm well, sure don't they all do? <laughs> <laughs> but not specifically. <laughs> They're into cop bottoms. Cop? Yeah, like police. Oh. oh really? No. The closest I was Roma, actually, because of the appendage, uh, I think, right? I suppose what they are looking for, salty seamen. Oh. Ooh. Oh. The <laughs> white stripe, the white stripe. Yeah, so if it's in the left hanky. pocket, it means you are uh, um, in the Navy, seamen. And in the right, you're looking for some salty seamen. Oh. Wow. <laughs> this is complicated. <laughs> <laughs> well... Hanky code, Google it. It's complicated in itself. I don't know how to do it. It's the Bee song. It's easier. (laughs) (laughs) I'm like, left, right? Is that lavender? Is it fuchsia? That's where the problem comes in. Right? Right. So we forgot to pull it off. So that was Fisher of Men was the... Sorry. (laughs) Category. That's clever. That's really clever. I like it. Was Fisher of Men was the category. That might have helped. (laughs) (laughs) Not really. (laughs) So our point count is Raven with 50. Because I gave you an extra tank to just crack this up a second ago. <laughs> I got Sister that. Roma has 120. And Mother Chaka is coming in with 170. Wow. Ooh. So it's anybody's you? game. <laughs> I'm going to reveal the final snap category. Our contestants are going to put in their wagers. And then Lisa will let us know what the question is. <laughs> Exodus. Lisa, lay it on us. The clue the is... Question? The clue. The best way to exit a date that is not going well is this. <laughs> now, of course, I'll have some music. <laughs> and if you can crack up our sound person, you just win. She's done. She's done. She's done. 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 Da, boom, boom. Okay, contestants, ready? We are going to start with Raven. You wagered? 49. 49, and the best way to exit a date that is not going well <laughs> is, <laughs> I can't see you have to To ghost it. the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to the bathroom? <laughs> ghost Whoa. the fuck out. Is that That's how Raven <laughs> Okay. Oh, with 120 points going in, we have Sister Roma. Your wager and answer. The best way to exit a date that is not going well? Uber. Uber. (laughs) And I wagered 20. And you wagered 20. Oh, and Mother Chaka, the best way to exit a date that is not going well? What is a shark? Now we do 107. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, you got a new bonnet to wear, man. <laughs> wow. It gets yeah. you out of the date. Yeah. That is really just <laughs> the end of the line. Oh, yes. oh my There's goodness. no arguing there. No. <laughs> gotta run. Gotta go. It's true. Literally. <laughs> I think we do. So with that, <laughs> the chuck is the winner. <laughs> this is Gaberty and not Jeopardy. We have a little bit... The different twist with our, our prizes. One, everyone gets a prize. Yay! 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 Everyone's going to get a download of Saturn's new album. Oh, yay! Oh, yay! Wow. Saturn is a local artist here. He does our opening music and the music for Cameron Steele's show. He has a brand new album out. It's awesome, so they're all going to get that. Um, the piece de resistance. Oh, the piece de yes. resistance. Oh. Yay! Yay! Get this Goes to Mother Chaka. Congratulations. Yay. It won't fit on my hand. <laughs> so we have one last prize, and this applies to everyone. Yes. You win us. Us. 
We, we our we'll time. T- yes, our time. Well, and our persons. Well. At a charity else, of your choice. This is getting and better by the minute. <laughs> and whatever else you need. Mm. Um, we volunteer ourselves to do a shift for the charity of your choice. Yes. Oh, Very that's nice. you did this with us before, Lisa, because you volunteered at the gates. You like worked the again. gates with the sisters. Well, we need volunteers for Easter this year. Yes. Are you going to yes. be there? We'll sure. be there. Yes. yes. Well, well that would be, be wonderful there. because well, it's, it's our 37th anniversary. We'll be in Golden Gate Park at Hellman Hollow. We have live entertainment, an Easter bonnet contest, our Foxy Mary contest, and of course our infamous Hunky Jesus contest. Which I will be MC and Mother Chucka will be I'll our be host hosting. through the entire day. Yes. Yeah. It is the most iconic event in San Francisco. It's okay. a beautiful Absolutely. day. You should come out. It's so much fun. Yes. 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 Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Happy Thank Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. <laughs> We'd like to do some shout outs too. Oh, yes. Mendel's Art Supply on Hate Street. Thank you, Di. Thank you, full staff. I walk in, you fix me, I walk out. We'd also like to thank the staff here at The Lookout for hosting us. Yay! It's a great place to have a show. Yes, Nicole and Jimmy, thank you so much. We love you. And of course, our guests here today. Thank you. Sister Roma, Mother Chaka, Raven Mad. (laughs) Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye! Happy Easter!